What's up team? Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in person. Um, seems like things are moving a little bit more quickly than they have been. So um, I don't know if you've seen, but you know, it looks like about half of our club portfolio is gonna be open before the 17th. California just got to go ahead uh, to open up. So the good news is, you know, by the time that we're open up, we're gonna have a really good system in place, really good protocols. Everything should run very smoothly. Um, we don't have any dates yet, but you know, by the looks of it, by, by what the governor's saying, with the government stuff, um, I'm, I'm thinking hopefully mid-July uh, for an open date. Again, that's just, just what, from what I'm seeing in the news. And, and um, you know, as things progress, I'm sure things are subject to change. So um, the biggest thing is just um, stay in contact with us, stay in communication with us, let us know where you're at in the country, just so um, we know who we can count on to be there when we do open up. And hopefully we'll have a week notice. We anticipate having at least one week's notice to kind of prepare and get things set up for when we reopen. Um, another good development, so I'll send out, after this I'm gonna send a recap email, but it's really exciting because we just launched our park training, so we got approval. Um, if you guys have clients that you wanna meet in a park or any, any type of um, outdoor setting, you can do that now. So we have um, waivers for both the client uh, and the trainer, so you'll have to have those signed and then you'll send them to us and we can upload them into the client's file. Um, and you have to have everything approved by managers, so myself, Jay, or Charlie. Um, the biggest thing with this, it gives yourself an opportunity to train somebody in person. You do have to wear the personal protective equipment uh, and we, we're not gonna be providing that because we don't have anywhere to meet you at since the club is closed. So you'll have to provide your own masks and all that stuff and equipment and wipe things down. Um, but it's an option and it should give us a big uptick just based on where our uh, our club is in proximity to the park and there's some places where you can actually train people outside. So talk to your clients, good opportunity to get them, you know, to a gradual entrance back into the club and hopefully we can get an uptick and get some more business for you guys. Um, along those lines, just so you get, there's some clarification, I have more details on this, but um, we, we cannot pay travel for trainers to travel to sessions. So um, if you are traveling to train somebody outside, you cannot travel further than you would a normal day to work. Like, so however long it takes you to get to the club, um, you, can't, you can't travel further than that to do the session. Um, the way our club is set up, I, I'm guessing most people would train in Central Park or somewhere around there, one of those little parks in the Upper East Side, should be no problem. But for example, if let's say it takes you you're three blocks from work normally, you can't travel to, uh, to Jersey to do a session just because uh, we're not going to pay for travel and that would be an obligation. So um, that's the one, uh, one thing you have to keep in mind when you're looking at these outdoor sessions. Um, and then I guess the last thing an update is we're finalizing. We've been training people on a virtual um, assessment. So, you know, the managers have gone through the training. Uh, I think it's really solid. I think it's going to be a really good opportunity when we get back because you know, we're going to create like a blended product, right? It's going to be some in person, some virtual. But the cool thing is with the virtual assessment, uh, if, if you look at telemedicine and just kind of how virtual things have exploded uh, over the last five years, I'd say, and now we have this, this kind of shoved everybody and forced everybody to evolve. So people are really open to virtual stuff right now. So we'll have this virtual assessment offering moving forward. And I actually think that we'll get a lot more of our new members and stuff involved in training because, you know, it's so convenient for somebody to set up their camera, do a few movements in their living room, take you through a quick little workout and kind of see what training is all about just another tool we can use for sales uh, in the future. So, um, miss you guys. Look forward to seeing you guys in person. Seems like things are moving quickly. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be checking in. I know Charlie's been calling some people. I'll be calling and texting people this evening and possibly tomorrow, but and say, same with Jay. Um, we'll check in in person. But if you do need anything, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, and it's great to hear your voice when you do. So, see you guys.